What if you ate only sugar for a month? So considering a 355 milliliters, 12 ounces, can of soda contains 47.2 grams, 1.7 ounces, of sugar, you might be living above average already. But if the only thing you eat is sugar, you'll need about 2,000 calories each day to keep your body running. And if you were to hit that magic number, your inner child might be overjoyed at an all-sugar diet, but your inner organs would be screaming for mercy. Let's be clear. We're not talking about replacing asparagus with Twizzlers and using Dr. Pepper as your mouthwash. This diet is only refined sugar, not sugar-filled foods. We'll let you drink water too. So, if you're going to get the calories you need to keep your body functioning, you'll have to consume 532 grams, 18.7 ounces, of sugar per day. That's 222 sugar cubes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all your snacks in between. And if you want to avoid cavities, you'll need to brush your teeth more than twice a day. If you don't brush more often, the bacteria in your mouth will feed off the sugar and leave behind an acid that will destroy the enamel on your teeth. In the short term, the release of endorphins would give your body a surge of energy after every meal. And you might not be able to sleep at night. But over time, all that sugar could have a downside you might not expect. Your body could get addicted to this white stuff. When the month ends, and you return to eating real food, you're likely to go through withdrawal. So prepare to feel intense irritability, fogginess, moodiness, and low energy. You may not gain any weight from eating 2,000 calories of sugar each day, but you could develop a chronic condition like diabetes. According to Harvard Health Publishing, a high sugar diet may even stimulate your liver to dump more harmful fats into your bloodstream. With all this sugar pouring through your body, and more harmful fats, you would have a higher risk for heart disease. Your blood pressure and your insulin levels would raise so high, your blood vessels would become less flexible. Your kidneys would store excessive water and sodium. And if blood isn't pumping properly through your body, it could affect your love life as well. Just saying. And let's not forget about your red blood cell count, which would be significantly lower. Why does that matter? Well, with fewer red blood cells, you wouldn't be able to heal from wounds. You could lose a lot more blood due to excessive bleeding, or get infections. Every bruise, scrape, or paper cut could send you to the hospital, or even the morgue. And a 2018 study from New Zealand's University of Otega suggests that glucose hurts your cognitive abilities. While your body may be awake, no sleep, a sugar coma takes a toll on your attention and your memory. And without vitamin C in your meals, you're likely to develop scurvy which will make you feel tired. On top of that, since you're not eating protein, your muscles will start to waste away, and your bones will get weaker without minerals in your diet. The sugar would also attach to the proteins you already had in your blood, and create harmful molecules known as advanced glycation end products, or ages. These end products would damage the collagen and elastin in your skin, leaving you wrinkled and saggy. Now, if you're an 81 kilograms, 180 pounds, American, 
and you eat 2.5 kilograms, 5.4 pounds, of sugar in one meal, you've got a 50-50 chance of a lethal overdose. Those odds aren't sweet. So stick to a healthy diet plan, and you won't come close to that lethal amount. Realistically though, a month is about all your body could take of this kind of abuse, before you succumb to disease or malnutrition. But, you don't have to give up sugar completely, though. As long as you're not putting your health in harm's way, you can safely enjoy an occasional treat, or sugary reward. Just quit dipping your finger in the frosting before the cake is served. Gross. So now you're back on a regular